The 19th century blurred the most visible signs of this thematic correspondence by artificially separating Utopia and the savage. To schematize a protracted and contested process. It is as if that century of specialization subdivided the other that the Renaissance had set forth in creating the West. From then on, Utopia and the savage evolved as two distinguishable slots. This particular essay, which I saw in its earliest form uh, just before 1990, uh, has remained a, a powerful point of reference for me. It's a reminder that there is no way to seriously think about the ways in which Europe uh, dominated the rest of the world, intellectually, politically, and economically, without going back to the Renaissance. And what Rolf shows us, which is truly his original insight, is that European utopias cannot be thought about without European ideas of the savage state.